Hi everybody, it's Lisa from Lisa's Paper Passion. Thank you for stopping by, I appreciate it. Welcome in. Wanted to share with you a project that I created for my friend Jeannie Rodriguez. I will put a link to her channel in the comments. I don't know why I pointed that way <laughs> in the comment section. But um, we were both admiring a, an altered um, round boxes that Anna of Lace Boutique One turned into an altered cake. So this is what this is. The reason why I have it sideways is because if I have it this way, then you won't see the whole thing. So anyway, of course, it's not a real cake. It's an altered cake. And we started off with, um, let me show you this set that we bought from Callie Scrapper, I think her name is. And I bought two of them because I knew that I wanted to do another one. Um, these are the nesting boxes. And let me get up close here. And the different sizes, uh, let's see. It doesn't really say the measurement of the sizes. Of course, it's a small, medium, and large, but I know that doesn't help you. So let me get a ruler and tell you the largest diameter of the circle. It's about six inches for the large one. So I thought they were gonna be a little bit bigger because I didn't see the measurement on a website. However, I'm very happy with, with the size because if it was huge, it would have been harder to ship and um, it would take longer to alter. So let me show you what I did. These are all products that I have in my stash. This is um, just something that I wanted to make for her. So I started off with covering each of the boxes uh, each of the round boxes, I should say, with some tilde paper that I have in my stash. I love that paper. There's my sign on the bottom. That's what it looks like. So I, I changed it so that, um, that it, you know, of course, it looks like a cake. So each layer has, you know, different color laces, pearls, and I'm really pleased on how it came out. This is some trim. I don't know if you could see it up close. My lighting isn't that great because I'm kind of recording towards the evening, but I'm hoping that you could see okay. I'm recording this um, before I mail it to her so that I can publish it after she gets it. So uh, what was I going to say? Oh, so anyway, um, each layer is decorated and it is functional. So and I'll show you inside um, once I get through each, you know, explaining kind of the outside part. Um, these are these gorgeous Prima paper flowers that I got from their warehouse several years ago when they had the warehouse sales and I lived about, well I still do, about 10 minutes from the Prima warehouse and it was like my Disneyland going to that warehouse. So um, anyway, I saved these flowers. I have uh, just a few left. I've been gifting it along the way uh, during for some of my swaps, but I, I wanted to use something that was substantial and just was really beautiful. And I didn't want to line them up straight. I wanted kind of on a diagonal. So let me show, oh, and, and on the very top is a flower that, um, that I made with some trim. Let me kind of focus in. Okay, so as I said, each layer, let's see, what's the best way to do this? Let me start from the top. I'm not gonna show you every single thing on the inside, but every single layer, there's three layers, has some sort of handmade goodie and trim and I know she said she's just getting into the shabby chic so I thought maybe um, Jeannie that you can use this for some of your other projects that are not very um, pinky colored okay so that was the first layer the second layer is kind of glued onto the to the top which is okay so I just kind of moved it this way again um, some of the planner clips things that I made some flowers, um, tassels, just some other goodies that I think she could use in her projects. So that's the second layer of the cake. And then the third layer, I think this comes out completely, if I'm not mistaken, oh yeah. Okay, and then this third layer, I just filled with just laces and trims and just stuff that she can use. I mean, it's, it's full of yummies in there. So that's my swap for Jeannie. Um, let's see what else was I going to say. Let me line up the flowers. I guess this doesn't matter. So please subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Um, I will be showing you some more projects that I've worked on. I have a, another video that I'm probably going to do right after this first swap with Amy. 
So again, thank you for stopping by and I hope this inspires you as you all inspire me on YouTube. Please subscribe and have a blessed day. Thank you. Bye.